This is something that we really need to understand about our topwater lures. When it comes to topwaters, we've really got two categories. We have topwaters for targets and topwaters for calling. And today I want to specifically talk about those topwater lures that call fish from a distance. Coming into late summer and into the fall, the bass are oftentimes pulling off the bank. They're way out there. They're suspended. They're deep. They're chasing bait. So those topwater lures that can call bass up from a distance are so important to success this time of year. Now, I've got a whole variety of topwater water lures here from you know a toad buzz to wake baits your whopper ploppers uh, your traditional poppers I've just got a ton of them here and I wanted to show you their water displacement their water pattern how much commotion I guess you could say they cause from underneath so I took my camera and placed it four foot under the water and pointed it straight up and I brought each one of these lures back on just a traditional standard straight retrieve and then I also brought them back with a twitching stopping starting pausing trying to make more commotion type of a retrieve when you're on a normal retrieve especially a bait that keeps Keeps moving like a buzz bait or a wake bait there's a very conical type of a pattern okay that it comes behind it and on a calm day that's great but whenever I fish top waters I like to be thinking about that fleeing bait fish that fleeing minnow that skipping and jumping around that just causes those other bass in the area to want to get in on that action and oftentimes a straight retrieve doesn't do that for us. So if we take a look at some of these lures with a start and stop type of a motion, even you know a whopper plopper, which many anglers traditionally just throw that and bring it straight back. If you just throw little twitches into there, notice the water pattern, how the water throws. It's not that conical type of a pattern. It throws it at a distance. Wake baits will do this. It's crazy how much the popper will do this. You can create just a huge circular pattern with that popper and it does two things for us. Not only does it create that feeding instinct that we were talking about, but it also creates a bigger surface disturbance, which those bass are gonna be able to sense from a greater distance. I was shocked at some of these lures when I just bring them on a straight retrieve. From underneath, there's hardly any disturbance at all from up above there's a lot of disturbance we're like wow boy that's really throwing some water around and yes the bass their senses are way more in tune to this than ours are but there's a big difference how these lures look like from above and how they look from below and obviously the below is the most important part now when we're dealing with something like a walking top water okay and we've got fairly calm conditions this bait really creates quite a commotion on the surface that also can be seen from underneath but if you've got some boat wakes out there if you've got some wind out there Really, your only option with this type of lure is to go big. Go with some of those big, big baits. You know, like a mega dog, it's going to create more commotion. Uh, same type of thing when you're using like a big 130, okay? That's when you've got more natural surface commotion, current, wind, those types of things. Go with the bigger bait. But if you're using a lure, okay, and this includes your buzz baits, Throw those twitches in there. Try to get more water to spray, more commotion happening on the surface, and your drawing power is going to be so much greater. You're going to be able to fish those big open water areas and pull those bass up from quite a distance, which is definitely what we want to do. So be thinking about not only how does that lure you know, look to us as an angler from the surface, but what is happening from underneath. And hey, if you would like to watch a video about a very peculiar bass behavior, smallmouth and largemouth both do this when it comes to topwater lures, go ahead and check this video out right here. And make sure you go out and encourage someone today. You just never know how you might change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.